Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is 1986's Generation 1. Blur. Now, Blur hit the toy shelves in 86 to coincide with his appearance in The Transformers The Movie, where it was shown that he was the fast-moving, fast-talking soldier under the command of Ultra Magnus on Earth. Now, in Transformers The Movie, Blur really didn't do much other than talk fast, and that was thanks to voice actor John Mushita, who, as us 80s kids knew, as the Micro Machine Man. This is the Micro Machine Man, presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machines. Plus incredible Micro Machine pocket playsets. Each one comes with its own special edition Micro Machine vehicle and fun fantastic features. And there's Micro Machine service center and many more. And these playsets fit together to form a perfectly precise Micro Machine world. The Micro Machines collect and race and trade them from the lube. Remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machines, it's not the real thing. John actually held the world record for fastest talker. Now, Blur continued on into Season 3 and unfortunately was not voiced anymore by John Mashita. The voice actor who took over in Season 3 made Blur... Quite the annoying character. He talked fast, but not like John Mashita's version. He just tend to repeat the same word over and over again and actually ranks right up there with Wheelie as one of the most annoying Transformer characters. Party, this is it! I just know it, I know it, I know it, I know it! We're all gonna die, we're all gonna die! This is it, this is the end, we're finished! We're, 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 we're. Now in Marvel Comics, Blur first appeared in the very first issue of the Transformers the Movie comic adaptation. And he carried on through the full series there. He also appeared in the Headmasters Limited Series number one, where it was actually Blur who kicked off the conflict between the Transformers and the Nebulons. Thanks to Lord Zarek zapping Blur with a, or actually it was Lord Zarek's henchman, zap Blur's arm with a magnetic beam that caused the arm to swing back, knock over this trophy or this statue in the plaza, the Nebulons thought Blur was attacking, therefore that led to the Nebulon conflict. It's shown later on in issue number four of the Headmaster series that Blur became a target master. And then Blur just kind of faded into the background for the rest of the series. So now, enough of talking about the history of Blur, let's take a look at this ultra-fast Transformer. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In vehicle mode, Blur is a Cybertronian hover car, kind of like a land speeder, if you will, and the toy actually pulls that off pretty good. You see how the front end's off the ground, the sides here off the ground, and I love, I dig the shadows right now. It actually looks like it is levitating, but actually Blur has wheels underneath, but still, you can see how far it's off the ground, and mine's a little loose, excuse me. It looks like it's floating, as you roll it along. So pretty cool effect for the vehicle. Now, my blur here is, it's not in the best shape. This right here is gonna be a perfect restoration video in the near future. The stickers are bad. He's got some faded stickers here, but the figure itself isn't too bad. You got a nice Autobot logo right there. There was a decal there that's tore off, decal here on the back. And that's pretty much it. It is a very simple vehicle that keeps 
trying to transform itself. Like I said, mine is really loose. Now, you do have a little bit of Blur's face showing right there, but it's not too bad. You really don't see it unless you're looking. Nice paint application there for the windscreen or windshield. All in all, not a bad looking vehicle. Now, to get into transformation, this is where Blur has a problem, and it's right here with this front nose cone area. This just clips in to the vehicle mode. It's like a shield, but the clips break really easy. So to transform mine, I'm gonna be very careful and pull straight while I wiggle this out. So right there, you see the clip that clips around that peg right there. You can't slide it up over, unfortunately. You got this other little gadget here in the way. But right here, you will see so many G1 blurs with this clip broke. I'm always very paranoid transforming this guy. I mean, I've had him on my shelf for years, and I think I've only transformed him twice, and once was right now for this video. So you want to be very, very careful with this. Oh, I forgot to show off. He does have his rub sign. Not sure if it works. No, I believe that rub symbol is dead. So anyway, we're going to put this piece aside. Now, flip the vehicle over, and you're going to take the robot legs, and you're just going to swing these out. They tuck in behind the rear of the vehicle. And they actually tuck in pretty tight. So once you get those out, you're going to swing these around. Nice ratchets right there. Get the legs straight. He's got little toes right here. I like how the toes and the knees are the wheels. If I can get my fingernail in to flip those toes out. There we go, so there is Blur's toes. Now you're gonna take the back section, or actually no, we're gonna take these right at the arms. You can see these are self-transforming. They're not supposed to, but you're gonna take the arms and slide these down. Now you can take this back section, kind of hold the, I don't know what you call that, spoiler here, hold that and flip this back section down and over, revealing Blur's head. Bring the head up slightly. Take the back section and get that folded down along the back. Now, these pieces that keep flopping down, what you're going to do is take these and just fold them up around the arms. And there you have Blur in robot mode. In robot mode, Blur is a little plain. There's really not much to this robot at all. It could be that I'm missing decals, but there's really, I mean, he's just kind of a bland robot. Taking a closer look at him, you've got a great face sculpt. I like the face. Moving on down, you got the windshield. I don't know why I keep calling that a windscreen. Windshield for the chest. Got the arms, the fist, Autobot logo. There are decals right here on the legs, on the upper thigh, and down here right above the feet. And that's about it. Articulation. Blur's head can look up and down slightly. The arms can do a complete 360. No waist rotation. Now with the legs, the legs can wiggle slightly, but surprisingly, there is a knee bend. I usually always miss those knee bends, but Blur has them and his toes can wiggle. Of course, you heard those nice ratchets with the knees. Now, as far as weapons are concerned, Blur does have a black rifle that actually looks really good. I like the rifles with the clips or magazines put in. That looks awesome. Go ahead and peg that into his hand. And now the shield section here actually has a peg right there. They can attach that to Blur's other hand. And now you have Blur all armed, if I can get him to stand up, and ready for battle. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1986's Generation 1 Blur with Generation 1 Rodimus Prime. Titan's Return Blur, and Studio Series 86 Blur. 1986 Generation 1 Blur is an okay Transformers toy. I do like the vehicle mode and its cool hover feature, if you want to call it that, but the robot mode is just way too plain. Yes, I know it's G1, but this is a latter year G1, and I expected him just to be a little bit better. But there is one thing that the Generation 1 toy does that's better than his modern releases. 
If you take a look at the side of blur here, the section there that folds up on the arm is so much better than the 86 version or the Titans Return version. It just hangs off way too thick on these two, but I love how it folds up nice and clean on the 1986 figure. So there you go, guys. 1986's Generation 1 Blur. So, does the 1986 Generation 1 Blur belong in your collection? Well, if you're a G1 collector, absolutely. This is one you have to have to complete the 86 movie line. And he's, like I said, he's not a great bot. He doesn't really have a great robot mode. His vehicle mode, kind of iffy, but... If you want to complete that cast, you have to have this figure. Now, be very cautious when purchasing a blur. You want to make sure that the shield here has the clips intact because I went through quite a few shields till I actually found a good one. So, yeah, you see a blur and you're a fan of the 86 movie, pick him up. You're not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, thank you so much, all my subscribers, for putting me past 9,000 subs marked. We are now on the way to 10,000 by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo -ah!